Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Bunka and I'm an engineering mentor and drive coach for Team 5895 Petty Robotics. Today we're going to be analyzing Elimination Match 8 from the first Mid-Atlantic Mount Olive District event, which happened this past weekend. Uh, so, Match 8 between two alliances, obviously Alliance 2 and Alliance 6. Um, and what's interesting about this match and something that I'd like to really highlight in this segment is uh, this is an excellent example of Alliance 2 diversifying their offensive efforts uh, and spreading their team out. Um, what's great about this is it's somewhat of a maybe subtly applied version of an offensive uh, scheme for the Reefscape game. Um, and what it does is it plays to the Alliance's uh, the Alliance members' uh, strengths. So each one of the robots on their team has uh, a very strong suit to them, uh, which is somewhat different from each other. Um, and it not only makes it hard for a, a single robot to defend them because the different Alliance members are spread out doing specific things, um, but it also reduces the possibility of creating traffic amongst themselves, uh, which can be almost as detrimental as good defense. Um, so yeah, let's check it out. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu slash first. Oshcut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Oshcut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash OSHCUT. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started. Match number eight, elimination match number eight from Mount Olive FMA District. So we have on the red side of the field, alliance number two. Uh, captain by 9015 Questionable Engineering, representing Jersey City, New Jersey. Uh, QE is a coral robot with a standard human player feed setup, but a very robust execution. Their first pick was 103, the Cybersonics out of Kindersville, Pennsylvania. Cybersonics, uh, they can do algae. Uh, they can also do corals uh, if they need to, uh, but algae is, seems to be the skill set that they've really put most of their resources in, at least for this first event. And then finally, you have 3340, the Union City Magna Geeks out of Union City, New Jersey. Uh, 3340 has an EveryBot uh, iteration. Um, they have a deep climb. Uh, they have L1 scoring, uh, but I believe they were specifically drafted uh, to Alliance 2, um, particularly for their end game and defensive uh, capabilities. And then on the blue side of the field, you have Alliance 6. Alliance 6 captained by 4653 Ironman Robotics out of Ramsey, New Jersey. Uh, their first pick, 223 Extreme Heat out of Wanock, New Jersey. Uh, and then rounding out Alliance 6, you have 193 Mort Beta, uh, one of the home or host teams uh, from Flanders, New Jersey. All right, so uh, let's look at this match here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the end of the autonomous period. Uh, so what we can point out here, uh, red is actually up by 10 points, which is, which is helpful for them, uh, obviously, in securing the win. Um, but I'd also like to point out the positioning of the Red Alliance. So coming out of Autonomous, 9015 is positioned on the left half of the reef. Uh, they're queued up to immediately begin coral cycling, uh, which is what they're going to focus on this match. Inversely, you have 103, the Cybersonics, that is centered on the far side of the reef. Uh, and what's interesting about that is because they're going to be focusing so highly on algae scoring in the barge, uh, being as close to the barge as possible with an algae right there within their grasp is going to set them up for a very quick immediate cycle once their drivers get on the controls. Okay, let's scrub ahead to roughly a minute 54 uh, seconds left in the match. Uh, and let's look at Alliance 2's layout again. Okay, so now the three Alliance members of Alliance 2 have a more fortified positioning. Um, they've kind of settled into their roles as the match has progressed to just under two minutes left here. Uh, you have 3340, the Magna Geeks. Uh, they've pushed across the field, and they're going to be spending most of the match locking up one of the human player coral stations, uh, which is going to cut the uh, opponent's uh, coral access in half effectively. You have 103 again, 
they're staying on the red side of the field. Uh, Cybersonics are going to be clearing out algae in this, uh, in this section of the match from the left half of the reef. And then 9015 Questionable Engineering is cycling coral on the right half of the reef. So both robots are doing work uh, to, to better their alliance's score on the same reef, obviously, but they've designated which halves of the reef they're focusing on to try and spread themselves out, makes themselves harder to defend, and reduce traffic uh, amongst themselves uh, internal to the alliance. We'll push forward to minute 15 left in play here, uh, and you can see the Red Alliance has now flipped their offensive zones in terms of the home zone assignments. So before, uh, you had 103 on the left half of the reef. Now you can see the Cybersonics are uh, clearing algae and doing algae work, pulling from the right half of the reef. So they've cleared out all the algae on the left side of the reef, and they've moved over to the right side of the reef. Now inversely, to, to keep reducing traffic and, and spreading themselves out, uh, Questionable Engineering uh, is recognizing that 103 needs to move over to the right half of the reef, so they're going to now shift focus uh, for their coral scoring cycles over to the left half. Uh, so now, you know, 103 started on the right, moved to the, or I'm sorry, 103 started on the left, moved to the right, 9015 started on the right, moved to the left. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump forward to 53 seconds left in play here. I'm going to go ahead and pause. Uh, and what I want to point out is that the only algae left on the red side of the field uh, are the three left uh, on the floor, or sh I should say that started on the floor in that, uh, you know, lollipop uh, configuration. So what's cool about this is QE, uh, Questional Engineering Team 9015, is going to recognize uh, that they have a, a very uh, quick opportunity to boost the efficiency of their teammates, Team 103, who's focusing on those algae. Uh, so as they come in to load an additional coral from their coral station uh, human player, uh, they're going to actually perform a bank shot, kind of you know hip checking uh, one of those algae uh, around uh, the the curve or the or the seam of the field perimeter and along the driver station wall. And what ends up happening is that ricochets the algae uh, from that general area into a more favorable position, so that 103. Uh, has uh, a much simpler time, uh, you know, acquiring those uh, those those algae now instead of having to go as deeply into the corner, uh, and that's going to boost 103 cycle time uh, efficiency. Uh, it's also going to reduce uh, the potential hazards associated with you know driving near floor algae um, when you're trying to load. All right, and finally, let's move forward to 27 seconds left in play here. So we're getting close to the end game period. Uh, and, and you can see that now all of the algae have been cleared from the red half of the field. And 103 is going to use the versatility of their robot and automatically, without skipping a beat, shifts into uh, contributing to the coral scoring effort. They start coral cycling as well on the reef. Um, so they're doing everything they can uh, to not leave any points on the board, which is essentially, the, you know, the core focus to winning these matches later in the elimination bracket. So eventually 3340 will come back and attempt a deep climb, which is what their primary focus was for this team. Um, while the other two robots will scoot in for a quick uh, double park bonus uh, to just boost their score a little bit further. So final score of this match would be 120 to 138 with 32% of the overall score coming from a heavy effort to score algae into the barge uh, thanks to 103 on the Red Alliance. So the Red Alliance did it all right here. They diversified their approach to offense, uh, which let them spread their efforts out for maximum efficiency and ultimately would propel them to a finals appearance uh, at the Mount Olive District this year in 2025. All right, well, that's the analysis of match eight at the elimination rounds for first Mid-Atlantic Mount Olive District event this past weekend. Stay tuned to fun for more content just like this. Make sure to comment below on anything you noticed uh, that I might have missed from this match. And if there are any other matches you'd like to see analyzed, uh, make sure to drop us a line. I'm Jeff with Fun Robotics Network and Team 5895. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to stay up to date on future fun videos.
Oshcut is a premier metal cutting service for first teams. No minimum order, options for same day turnaround, guaranteed lead times, and instant online quotes. Oshcut is offering first teams 50% off any future order up to $200 when you scan the QR code or go to funroboticsnetwork.com slash O-S-H-C-U-T. Just upload a 3D model or flat pattern to get started. For over 100 years, Kettering University has offered a better education because from day one, that education has been built on hands-on co-op learning. Kettering's impressive alumni network includes founders, presidents, CEOs, and front runners who have a reputation for transforming industries with their resolute leadership. Apply today at kettering.edu first.